Hello, my name is Hayati and I'm an application engineer here at Rapid Scan 3D. Uh, today we're going to go over quick surface gear. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to um, section sketch it and once we select the surface, we're going to go ahead and then we're going to pick our um, lines. There's actually a smart way to do it. There's a thing called right there. We're going to fit primitives. Um, I call it magic wand. It actually, when you select over the lines, it actually creates you uh, the lines that you selected. If it's a curve, it will give you curve. If it's an arch, it will give you arch. Once we select these, we're going to go back. We're going to select the option called corner trim. <clears throat> there are many options here. So we're going to do corner trim. We're going to select left mouse button, kind of lasso it. We'll fix this issue later on. We're going to go up here. One more there. We're basically selecting all the corners. We're closing the loop so we can revolve it. To be able to revolve it, you're going to need the axes. So I'll show you how to get there. Once everything is closed, I'm going to select OK. Select my axes. I'm going to convert this into a construction line. So, okay, this, and then we're going to go back to constra constraints. And for construction, once we do that, I miss a few things. So I'm going to fix it. These guys, yep. Cover all the edges. Just gonna drag it and snap it. <clears throat> Once we finish, it takes a couple of minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and select that and revolve. And here we are. You can check the um, tolerance. Apply. You just basically set up your own tolerance standards. And then you can start modeling. As you notice, my circular pattern circle is a little short. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back, edit it, and drag this out because I need to cut all those teeth out. Once we do that, we're gonna go back to the second stage. We're gonna extrude. I'm gonna select that, drag my section line a little bit further down and see if how much stuff I'm getting. I'm going to leave it probably right there. I get a lot of uh, geometry. Nice and clean. I'm going to turn everything off and then I'm going to go ahead and select again. I don't have no uh, particular pattern that I need to select. I'm just basically looking at the outline and then selecting those. Now we're going to go to corner trim again. Once we do that, now we have the complete. Oh, sorry. Let me just delete that. Start over. And go back. Our magic wand. Select that and that. And OK. And just drag this down here, down here. And then corner trim again. Once we finish this, we can take a look at. That's pretty good. So we're going to OK it. Now we're going to go back to our sketch. We're going to right click, extrude, and then OK. Because we're going to use it as a cutting tool, 
Uh, we don't need to worry about how far are we extracting, extruding. So once we do that, we actually select the axes of the circle and then we select the inside. We basically did a, a circular pattern and now we're going to actually extrude, extract the, um, the teeth profile that we extruded. The next thing what we're going to do, we're going to activate our line and then we're going to go back in there, right click on the main part. And then select one, and all of them will be deleted. And now you have the, the profile. Once we finish this, you can take a look at our tolerance again. Activate that. There's some fillets and all that stuff. You might want to do that in SolidWorks. Now we're done finishing this part. Next thing what we're going to do, we're going to export this to SolidWorks. Looks pretty good. Let's check it one more time. Now I'm going to show you guys if you set up the tolerance. If you hover over, you can see a lot of um, deviations, which is okay. Part might be plastic injection molded. It might be warped. Once we finish this, I can adjust this a little bit more. Just fine tuning your sketch that helps you to define your geometry. Looks much better. Of course, my tolerance is a little higher in. Check point one, apply. Now rotate, take a look at all the areas. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to my solid body sketch, edit. I'm going to hide everything. Hide that. So as I mentioned earlier, you can just go ahead and fix these small issues. You can do arch. Nope. Uh, that, yep. All right. Back. Let's delete that. And then once we can just, it gives you kind of path, what direction it's supposed to go, kind of outlines, so you can follow that guidance. And then we're gonna go to the trim, just left mouse button, slide it over, and then just leave them all. I'm not really worried about the fillets now. I'm just trying to capture the, the dimension. And, so I can just delete the constraint, move this a little higher, move this down. And check again. Yeah, looks good. And then we're going to close this. As you notice, if I move my mouse over certain areas, it tells me how much the deviation is from max to min. Now we're going to close this. We're going to clear out all the mesh that I selected. I'm going to go back to the 
mesh edit and then you can see a lot of options here and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna deselect and close and then now we're transferring over the SolidWorks it's completed let's just open up there you go the part is right there sometimes transferring the delete options not properly working so you will receive all the data so you have to just do the combine and subtraction in SolidWorks and it looks really good and we're done thank you very much for watching